What? You're pregnant? That's right. I never thought I could become pregnant. No way. You were having an affair with my husband? Well, come on. What can I do? We fell in love with each other. I turned him into a father while you, my useless daughter, couldn't even have kids. Woohoo! My own flesh and blood is finally coming into the world. They didn't hold back and said whatever they wanted without any guilt towards me. But I was trying so hard not to burst out laughing. <laughs> well, I hate to say this, but... When I told them what had happened, my mom and husband turned pale. What? Why? My name is Kayla, and I'm a 21-year-old office worker. I have been working for the company I started working for after graduating from high school for three years now. I'm living alone these days and juggling work and home life, but I still manage to recharge both my body and mind by visiting my parents' home every once in a while. Oh, Kayla, welcome home. Dad, I'm home. Hey, where's Mom? Oh, she's still at the beauty salon. I see. My parents are very young. My dad is 43 and my mom is 37. My parents met at a club. My mom ended up at the same club as my dad, and he ended up flirting with her and they ended up going out. My mom was pretty grown up back then, and my dad only found out she was 16 when they started going out. They still had feelings for each other and continued dating, and one day, my mom became pregnant. So, my dad decided to marry my mom in order to take responsibility. At the time, they were quite opposed by each other's parents, as my mom was just a high school student. My dad's parents in particular were very strict, and my dad was disowned by them. So, I have never met my paternal grandparents. Against the wishes of those around them, my dad and mom tied the knot and welcomed me into their lives. In the early days of their marriage, everything seemed to be going smoothly. I have fond memories of my dad always taking good care of me and making me so happy. My dad worked as a construction worker, and whenever rain prevented him from working, he would usually come to get me from kindergarten. The other children in the kindergarten would say, Kayla, your dad's so cool. And I was so happy. And the two of us would spend a pleasant time under the same umbrella, talking about what happened at kindergarten that day. But my dad experienced an incident that caused a significant transformation in my mom's behavior towards him. The incident occurred while my father was working and resulted in a severe injury. This caused my dad to be unable to continue his career in construction. Luckily, it wasn't life-threatening, but it did result in lasting injuries for him. Following a rigorous rehabilitation program, he was able to walk again and was hired at a company thanks to his friend. But as his job performance suffered and his salary took a hit, my mom began to look down on him. Oh my god. I honestly thought my life would be easier, but I can't believe I ended up marrying a broke guy. I'm so unlucky. My mom had to work as a hostess in a night bar to pay the bills. Luckily, she was still young and drop-dead gorgeous, so it was a perfect job for her. My dad had to work to support his rehabilitation, so his income was limited. Since my mom earned more than him, she looked down on him even more. Since my mom worked at a night bar, my dad and I often ate dinner together. My dad would often make mac and cheese, which was very tasty. He always prepared dinner for me, even though it must have been hard for him to stand for long hours. I loved my dad for being so kind-hearted. And I wasn't a fan of my mom, who always talked bad about him. I don't know if my mom knew or just didn't like kids in general, but she barely looked after me and I always felt like she didn't care about me. My dad is one tough cookie. He never stopped working hard, even after rehab, and ended up crushing it at his job. So even though our family was not very wealthy, he managed to get me into high school. But my mom wanted me to work after high school to help out with our finances, so I didn't go to college. 
Instead, I got a job at a small local company. My dad apologized to me for restricting my career path, but I was really thankful for his parenting. I was willing to work and pay him back. I worked as hard as I could to make a living. Three years later, my dad was promoted, and his salary increased even more. His rehabilitation was going well, and his leg seemed to be doing well. So, I decided it was time for me to get some experience living on my own, and at the age of 21, I started living on my own for the first time. I had been helping out with the housework back at my parents' place, so living alone was not that difficult. Well, when work gets crazy, dinner becomes a hassle, but I always manage to tidy up and whip up some decent meals for myself. And recently, I also got a boyfriend. His name is Tyler. He's a colleague at my job, and we've gotten super close since we started working together. We had a good time going back and forth to each other's places and going to drive dates, and before I knew it, a year had passed since we started dating. Then one day, he proposed to me. I think, Kayla, you're the one who is destined for me. So marry me and stay by my side forever. Yes, of course. I also want to be with you forever and ever, Tyler. Thus, we decided to get married. We started living together and had a very happy married life. But after about two years of marriage, my husband's attitude became cold. And I know the reason for that. It was because I couldn't get pregnant. My husband loves kids, and from the beginning of our marriage, he said he wanted to have kids. Like my husband, I wanted to have kids and build a happy family. But no matter how hard we tried, for the past two years, there was no sign of me getting pregnant at all. My husband put all the responsibility and blame on me for not getting pregnant. Why can't you have kids? Are you messed up or something? Hey, don't say that. It's not just up to me if we can have kids, right? It takes two. Huh? There's no way I'm infertile. Nothing's wrong with me. It's definitely your fault that we can't have kids. Go get a thorough examination and infertility treatment. My husband yelled at me like that. I was surprised to see that part of my husband for the first time. He had been so gentle when he proposed to me, but why had he changed so much? I did as I was told and took a test for infertility. But I was told there was nothing wrong with me. I was relieved and decided to ask my husband to take the test this time. But he refused. Wait, what? Why should I take the test? Because I didn't have a problem, so maybe you're the cause, Tyler. There's no way. There's nothing wrong with me. I don't need to be tested. Enough with the nonsense and get pregnant ASAP. What? That's how my husband spoke coldly to me. I was surprised by how much he didn't care about me. After that, my husband and I began to avoid each other more often. He came home less and less often. He stopped coming home because he was working overtime or on a business trip. Oh, is that so? But Tyler seemed like a sincere person. Yeah. I didn't know what to do, which is why I came here to ask for your advice. I'm sorry for interrupting your advice seeking, but there's something I have to tell you too. Huh? What is it? Well, it seems that your mother is having an affair with another man. What? The guy she's cheating with seems to be a customer where she works at the night bar. Oh no. I was shocked. My mom had a cold attitude toward my dad, but I thought she still valued their relationship as a couple. But my mom had been having an affair with a customer at the bar where she worked for about a year. Even though your mom has treated me badly, I still care about her. So I wanted to be with her until the end, and I thought we could improve our relationship. But since she betrayed me like this, I don't think I can do it anymore. I see. So you're getting a divorce then? Yes, that's the plan. Where's mom today? 
She hasn't been home for the past few days. I confronted her about the affair and we got into a huge fight. She's been gone ever since. I see. I thought I had come to talk to him about my relationship with my husband, but when I found out that my dad was in a more difficult situation, I felt bad. And I couldn't forgive my mom for betraying my dad. I think getting a divorce is the right decision. But a week later, my mom still hadn't come home. I even went to the bar where she works, but apparently she quit. Huh? Does that mean she eloped with her lover? Maybe so. She's blocked my calls and I can't get through to her over the phone. Oh no. It seems that my mom disappeared as soon as my dad found out about the affair. I'm sure she was afraid of getting divorced and my dad demanding alimony from her, so she ran away. She's seriously the worst kind of human being. After that, my dad visited various places to ask about my mom's whereabouts, but no one had any clear idea of her whereabouts. And after a while, my dad seemed to have given up looking for my mom. My dad was living alone and I was worried about him, so I made it a point to go home to my parents on a regular basis. Since my husband never returned home, I figured it would be best to spend some quality time with my dad instead. I'm sorry, Kayla, for causing you trouble. What are you talking about, Dad? I'm already feeling healed just by being back at my parents' house and spending quality time with you, Dad. Tyler is the same as ever, and I have his permission to go home to my parents' place on weekends anyway. Oh, I see. That's good, then. Even though my dad was smiling at me, he couldn't hide his shock at having to leave my mom without any closure. To comfort him, I tried to spend as much time with my dad as possible. My relationship with my husband remained the same, and we're starting to act more like a married couple who have lost the spark. It was time for me to think about what to do about our marriage. While I was thinking about this, my dad became sick. He had always been a hard worker. The strain of the situation took its toll on him, and he was forced to spend time in the hospital. I went to visit my father every day. Dad, are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry to worry you. I have a feeling my days are numbered. No, 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 what are you talking about? You're only in your late 40s. It's just the beginning. Let's go eat something delicious when you get out of the hospital. Yeah, sure. I guess I'll just hang in there. That's what he would say, but two months later, his health deteriorated, and he passed away. Why? Dad? I was very sad about my dad's death. We promised that we'd go out for a nice meal, but why? I broke down, crying beside my dad, who would never wake up again. Still, I had to be strong. I was the only one who could arrange my dad's funeral. Then, I called the funeral director and made arrangements and preparations for the funeral. And on the day of the funeral, as I was preparing, to my surprise, my mom appeared in front of me. That man is dead? Mom, why are you here? Tyler told me about it. Wait, what? I noticed my husband behind my mom. How come you two are connected? The only time my mom and my husband had ever met was at our wedding. My husband didn't often visit my parents' house, and my mom had a job at night, so it's more likely that she wasn't there when I visited her. So I didn't know why they were connected. Then they said something outrageous. About six months ago, I think, we ran into each other at a bar. We hit it off there and we found ourselves getting along well. What? I'm pregnant now and I'm carrying his child. What? You're pregnant? That's right. I never thought I could become pregnant. No way. You're having an affair with my husband? Well, come on. What can I do? We fell in love with each other. I turned him into a father while you, my useless daughter, couldn't even have kids. Woohoo! My own flesh and blood is finally coming into the world. They didn't hold back and said whatever they wanted without any guilt towards me. 
I felt my love for my husband fade away all at once. Oh, honey, I'm sorry I took away your precious person. But I'll pay you alimony. That man's death means I'll get quite a bit of his inheritance, won't I? I wondered what would happen when he was badly injured, but he was making a lot of money at the end of his life at his new job, wasn't he? He must have saved a lot of money, right? With that inheritance, I can afford to pay your alimony. My mother looks so proud of herself as she said that. And my husband was grinning along with her. But I was trying so hard not to burst out laughing. <laughs> well, I hate to say this, but... When I told them what had happened, my mom and husband turned pale. What? Why? What do you mean your dad and I are divorced? About a year after you eloped, dad divorced you. We had proof that you were having an affair and the court immediately agreed for the divorce. So you and dad have been strangers since then. Which means you can't inherit anything from him. Oh no, I don't approve of this. This is just so wrong. But it's your fault for having an affair and eloping like that. The world is not that easy. Oh, sh shut up. I had more fun with this guy than I did with your dad, so I can't help it, can I? Well, the price for that is that you're in the situation you're in now. Isn't that right? Because now you are having an affair with my husband and having a good time, weren't you? But I won't approve this. Dad was nicer, but I'll be very strict with you two. I'll make sure to get alimony from both of you. Wait, wait a minute. If I don't get my inheritance, I can't pay alimony. Who gives a hoot about that? I'll demand the alimony from you two, so brace yourselves. Hey, Kayla, come on. You're being too much to your own mother. Who are you to talk like that? You're the one who hooked up with my mom, right? You're just as guilty. You should be punished the same way. Hold up, what? When I got to the core of the problem, my husband and mom clammed up. Dad doesn't want you both here. You guys are interrupting the funeral, so just leave. Oh, but don't even think about running away again. I'll definitely find out where you guys are, even if I have to use a private investigator. I will never forgive you, Mom. As I glared at her saying that, my mom said a small eek and ran away. My husband joined her and left the funeral. After that, my dad's funeral was over without any issues, and then I hired a lawyer and divorced my husband. Then I demanded alimony from my husband and mom. They couldn't run away and had to pay me alimony. My husband got the cold shoulder at work, and now he's been demoted to a local job doing manual labor. My mom's back to working at the night bar to pay for the alimony. She's still a stunner, but being over 40, she can't make much without getting too many gigs. Apparently, those young workers were teasing her and it totally crushed her self-esteem, but she couldn't just quit her job because she still had to pay the alimony, so she just kept on working. On the other hand, I inherited everything from my dad, including my parents' house, and my savings increased at once. I decided to sell my parents' house and moved out of the room I was living in with my husband. The new room is just right for one person, and it is close to my office. I am still young, so I am going to work hard and make my life great. Thanks for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.